Racing a car is not dissimilar to running a business. There's adversity to be overcome. My experience was each track was to be learned was like climbing a mountain. Every time it was a new track for me. There's challenges that will present themselves and you've got to face them, get through it, and, and move on to the next. Hi, my name is Darren Graham. I'm the founder of Applewood Auto Group. We started with a single store. We now have 11 and looking to grow beyond. There's been a number of struggles along the way when uh, the economy has turned down and our inventory was fractionalized in terms of its value. A little used car operation with a very small line of credit from a bank. My passion for the car business translates to all 11 stores. Each general manager in each store shares the same passion that I do, not just for the iron itself, but what it provides to our customers. So it was interesting, really, because I entered myself into the Centric Cup Series. And my biggest fear going in was, well, really, was how competitive would I be? No one wants to be the guy dead last. And actually, that's exactly what occurred the first weekend in Shannonville, Ontario. The good news is, that throughout the season, I did get better and better. And the last race weekend at Mount Tremblant, I was actually posted the fourth fastest lap time that day. But what I found most interesting was not the learning about being a race driver. It was really about all the life lessons. It was quoted somewhere saying it was one of the greatest experiences of my adult life, and it truly was. You can see now after 12 races that the car's got a lot of experience. Injuries that occur as a result of pushing beyond the car's limits next to other people that are doing the same. I was absolutely blown away with all the learnings that occurred for me throughout the season. Each one of these little wounds tells a story. You can see behind me here, there's kind of a circle on the car that's created when the tire makes contact with the side of the car, which is, we call it rubbing as racing. If you got a race car with no marks on it, I would have to question whether or not you were actually racing. So they are like scars of, of, of pride and experience. And I think for a lot of people that can be very debilitating when they, they feel like they can't see the light. If they don't feel they can get there, they don't want to do the work, it stops them from entering the race, as it were, or, or, or getting engaged. That was one of the other notes I took, actually, was getting the game. So perseverance is probably a word that's overused, but it certainly applies in the art of racing, mountain climbing, or business building. There's been many times throughout Applewood's history where things got rough. Had some concerns about the viability of the company, actually. Perseverance pays off, you stay in it, build momentum, keep rolling, carry speed in the racing world. Not dissimilar to what it's like in the car. Facing some adversity, the car goes off track, there's all kinds of damage, you don't know if you're gonna have it fixed in time or fixed at all. That would be the one thing that I would really probably like to impart in terms of life lessons or business acumen is get in it and stay in it. It's not over till it's over. 